right, welcome to the Open Mic Podcast. Today, it's me and Jason in the studio, or my bedroom with a bunch of towels hanging up, <laughs> with the boys from the Before and After Podcast. We have Tony Casillas and Parker Slave and Say hello, boys. Hello. Hello. And Jason, too. What's up, Jason? Hey, what's happening, man? So, we are here today. Welcome back to the Open Mic Podcast. This is episode two. Uh, we're going to get into this. Like I said, I have two uh, very funny comics in the studio with me today. Uh, Tony Casillas, how long have you been doing comedy? I had uh, four years this summer. So four years? Four years nice. in, uh, in May, end of May. Nice. And I don't think a lot of people know this about you, Parker. How long? How old were you when you started comedy? I was 16. So it'll 16. be 10 years in October. Wow, 10 yeah. years, and you've got a lot to show for. I'm just All right, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now, nobody has anything yeah. to show for anything. <laughs> No, but thank you guys for coming on the podcast. Uh, we're we're gonna have a fun night. Tony's here smoking his first joint that he's ever rolled. It looks like shit. It looks bad. Yeah. And by rolled, it looks like it rolled itself on the floor. <laughs> That's how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he lit it and burned a little bit. I don't of his know hat. how to do it good. Not yet. I'm learning. <laughs> Stick around. Stick still around. Gets, hey, like, uh... it still gets me high though. So it got its job done. Right. Uh, I guess we have a kid, uh, Newsies kid from the 30s yeah. here now. It's just like the Vietnam War. It wasn't pretty, but the job got done. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually didn't get done, Tony. Yeah. Oh, no, it, it didn't did, get yeah. done. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's why we lost. The way the war was handled was kind of oh. the way your joint looks there. That's right. why my grandfather always cries when I bring up Vietnam. <laughs> okay, I get yeah. it now. Yeah. I get it now. But he's probably crying because you're there too. Oh, uh, oh, I'm just kidding. He's probably he's dead. Just me. Oh, he's oh, dead. Okay. Oh, he died. Oh, good. <laughs> sounds like he was a dick, anyways. Yeah, he tried to roll him a joint, and he saw it. He was like, oh, <laughs> he killed himself. Was... Oh man, we're gonna ask yeah. you guys some questions, and then we're gonna get to the comedy part, and we'll do some stuff here. Uh, but I think Jason has some questions there for you. Uh, you got any questions you want to ask these boys? Ask yeah. them both. Ask one. Ask yeah. the boys questions. I, I, I've got some questions for the boys. Um, so. What would you say would be your best and worst music to have as like a come out song while you're coming out to being gay? No, <laughs> while, while, while you're actually coming out, uh, you know, to a show. The best. I think either way, it's Rain and Men. This yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I know you have you have a particular song or two that you like, Mike. Uh, there's a couple I like to switch it up. But uh, what what do you guys like? What do you guys use, or what what do you think is terrible? The best is "The Blow" by Jazzy Faye. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I haven't heard Look that. Look it one. up. It's little, great. Little, little late 90s, yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. Hey, this guy gets down young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Mine, uh, I have a mix. It's, uh, if I want to go like rap, I'll either go uh, Bust a Move by Young MC, yeah, yeah. just kind of upbeat, mm -hmm. and then, or just more modern, uh, maybe throw like Eminem or a little Drake, like old school Just Lose It, I like. Yeah. And then, but if, I wanna, if I'm feeling funky, uh, Rick James, give it to me, baby. That's, that's a good. That's a great song. I love Rick James. Bum, bum. It's just that yeah. beginning with and when the cause give it to me, baby. I get on the on the stage and the mic comes it's out. That's when the yeah, trombones right? and the trumpets come out. Bah, nice. Bah, 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 and then you're just in it. So I just need something to <laughs> dance to because I feel yeah. like yeah, if I can dance before my set a little bit, and I, I like to stand in the back. And if I can like jam out for like a second and then go on stage. I feel like I give like 10 times better of a performance because then right. I'm out of my head. But if I'm standing there and it, because some clubs, they don't do music. Right. You know yeah, that. yeah. And, uh, and if they do, they pick the same like ACDC song. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah. And, over. and there's like, so that kind of piggybacks those say. So then what would you say would be the worst? Like worst. if you had no choice and you're like, oh shit, this is my song. I'm or what, what's the that. worst song you've Sarah McLaughlin. That's uh, <laughs> I will remember, remember you. Oh. That would be terrible. <laughs> I don't want them to remember me if that's what they do. But thanks. Forget all of this, that's please. That's a boner killer yeah. and a crowd killer. Yeah. yeah. Right. After yeah. the you do your set, they're like, how was the beginning the funniest part? <laughs> <laughs> no. What, well, um, I, remember, I remember once what we wanted to do. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it at the Dallas Hyenas. Because uh, my opening joke is I look like a lesbian Drew Carey. And... Uh, we wanted to put it and hand out, hand out like numbers Confirmed. to the audience members. Mm -hmm, yeah. and be like, oh, we're doing a draw. Mm -hmm. The audience members are like, okay. And it's the Thursday free show, so it's a lot less packed. And uh, I was going to sit in the audience. They were going to seat me. One of the waitresses was going to seat me on a full table. 
and then my number was gonna get drawn to the Price is Right theme song. Nice. And then I go on stage and I have to do my set. They're gonna be like, oh, we, the next comedian, unfortunately couldn't make it. So one of you guys is gonna be a lucky comedian tonight. Yeah. And then, so we're still planning on doing that. Yeah. My next round of yeah. dates at Dallas, but yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. With comedy entertainment like WWE, it's kind of you know. Yeah, just fool them and yeah. run around and oh, you're the ringer. You're the yeah, ringer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey Parker, have you ever had a bad song played or a bad experience with the song coming up? Not really. No, not yeah, really. I've never like asked someone. Like I've only had one person ever ask me to play a song. What'd you pick? I picked Jumpman by Drake. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like at the peak, and then Laron, our mutual yeah, yeah. friend of ours. Uh, was like you our mother- mutual acquaintance of our <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I like how proper that was right yeah. he's like you motherfucker you got so upset he's like why didn't you pick my song yeah he was like do I was my gonna songs. do jump I, man yeah. I have a song I always want to use but I always forget that you know when they hit you right before right, you're about you to go up know, and you're yeah. already focused they're like what song do you want I always want to use the uh, Return of the Mac. Yeah, that's that's one of my. I love that jam. That's yeah. a good song. You lied to me. Yeah. yeah, I love that one. Um, <laughs> Return of the Mac is solid. That, that's a really great one. Just out of curiosity, I have a question for for you guys before Jason asks another one. Do you guys have any pre stage rituals? Like, is there anything you prefer to have going on or do before you go up? Or yeah, what, what, I, uh, what's, what's yours, Tony? I have three songs I listen to either on the car ride up there. Or I'll put it on my phone and I'll I'll sit in the, like the back row, put in my headphones. Same three every time. Yeah, yeah. It's like spaghetti, a little spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. I'm spaghetti, and I was like, I didn't need it. And uh, no, so I do that, and then also I like to chug half a Red Bull because mm-hmm. that half a Red Bull gives me like the energy I need, but also like not too much. It's that right blend. Than a Topo Chico to get the bubbles in my belly. Nice. <laughs> have, have you found out the hard way that it can't be more than a half? Oh, dude! Once I chucked two. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just in life, you do two back to back. Oh, I mean, dude! I was on stage. I was just yeah. like, "This is bad." They're like, "Not really, dude." Yeah, like, you yeah. Sound like someone else entirely. Yeah. You yeah. sound like an auctioneer. <laughs> you can't understand the word you're saying. Yeah. 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 I learned the hard way. I can't do Red Bulls before I go up or coffee. If I have coffee show day, it's got to be like hours I, before. I same. already talk fast, yeah. as you guys can hear right now. So if I drink a Red Bull, I'm just like, hey, what do you guys think about this? Oh, you're not laughing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do weed. Yeah, I do. I, that's because I'm, I'm slowed down. You I guys are monsters. Down. The yeah. amount of weed you smoke, like, it, it's impressive. Yeah. I have to. I don't drink before I go up. I'm actually more nervous if I have a buzz on, like alcohol buzz, right. or if I'm drunk than if I'm just stoned or, or something like that. And I... I do the weed a lot of times to try to like focus and slow down yeah. so I can catch on to what's going on. But sometimes you see me go up there and just power through thirty minutes of material in seven minutes. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's yeah. A, tough. It's something tough. I've been working. I think I've gotten a lot slower lately by doing stories uh, and getting higher and finding the right weed because <laughs> yeah. you got you got to have the right that's mix of true. weed. Yeah. You can't have bad weed. I had to tell a lady uh, after a show in San Antonio last month. Uh, I would joke about my my man boobs, and then mm-hmm. the weirdest thing is I hated her from the stage is because she was whispering out insults to me. Mm-hmm. She would just like, when, I, when I got on stage, wow. she was just like, she was just like, yeah. No, she goes, you're fucking fat. <laughs> and I go, what? And then she goes, she goes, your head's fucking stupid too. Like she was literally, and and as a comic, if she's whispering it, you can't attack her because then the whole audience. Is going to be against you. It makes now, you look like an asshole for just, just attacking, jumping on this yeah. whole bag. Yeah. You got to be so, like, "What was that?" And then if she speaks up, then, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if not, she probably won't talk again. I would, yeah, yeah I would yeah, definitely. Yeah. Be and like, also, the only what are you reason, saying? Yeah, man? Like, who the are you talking to? Is, <laughs> you didn't raise your hand, but here, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jeremiah Watkins, that line I work with, he does a lot of crowd work, so he's like, "If you can, please restrain from it." Yeah. So that's why I didn't want to approach it because, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had to sit in that pocket. So after the show, I'm selling merch. And she comes up and she just grabs one of like my man boobs. <laughs> she just grabs it. That's assault, and lady. I, no, literally, <laughs> right? I, I literally smack her hand away and I go, I go, ma'am, what the fuck are you doing right now? Yeah. And she goes, either play it or sing it. I was like, what the fuck does that <laughs> mean? Play it or say it. Huh? And then she goes, uh, the other two girls got to touch them. I was like, yeah, because we were taking a picture and they asked. They're like, hey, we're holding your merch. Can we put it up again? So I was like, fuck yeah. You, this is fun. yeah, but you literally just it came was up. consensual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what if I just came up and just beat the shit out of you? Yeah. She's like, that would be fucked up. I was like, ah. Eh. 
That's why I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hate when audience members, they think you're like a monkey. They're just right. like, you're Dude, the ape. You, you're the, yeah. you were there in Fort Worth. Uh, I did my set. I had a really good set. And I'm sitting in the back row waiting because I'm hosting and I have to wait for the feature to get done so I can go up again and bring up the headliner. But I'm sitting there and I'm a fat guy, right? And I got a button up shirt on and right where my belly button is, yep, nice. it's 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 open sesame. Right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the drawbridge is down. The King's Landing is open. No, she comes up and I'm just sitting there and she's she's actually kind of hot and she's smiling at me. She makes eye contact from like the other end of the room and she's just smiling the whole way and I start to get a little weird because. Pretty ladies don't smile at me that much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when she gets close, she takes her finger and puts it in my belly button. Oh, and she no. goes, now I'm funny. And I was like, if you want to be really funny, use two fingers, lady. <laughs> she never came back. She yeah. went to the bathroom and never came back. <laughs> she couldn't handle the challenge. Yeah, no. She, yeah. she, uh, she I thought wrote, she was going to one-up a comedian. Yeah, that's what yeah. she thought. I was like, bitch, you can't win here. Look at Also, bad. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, okay, touch my shoulder. I'm funny now. No, because you're not. If, if you walked up and touched her in the belly button, uh, I mean, that's a, a different that, perspective. That's right. Would say. Honestly, that's right. Honestly, that's an entrance. That's a yeah, breaking yeah, and entering right there. If she would have done that to me, she would have been funny. That's where I had all my jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's got a set list in his belly button. Yeah. <laughs> that's why whenever I'm bombing, that's why whenever I'm bombing, I just go, hmm, okay. And I just go, I just go, and then go, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, slides, he slides a little scroll out of his belly yeah, yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like the scroll you give a raven. A raven and things like that. Yeah, it's a little hidden notes. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that one. Yeah. Go instead of, instead of encased in wax, it's got a piece of belly a belly button lint just rolled yeah. around it. It retracts like a projection <laughs> screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got a Rolodex in his belly. He's got yeah. a Belladex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I did remember my question. Have you guys ever been booed on stage? Yes. Did oh. you, what did you do when you got booed? <laughs> oh, not handle it. Not the times I booed you. The, the times the actual crowd booed you. I got booed. One isn't a boo. One's kind of like a boo. One was I was I started hosting. I shouldn't have been hosting. It was one of those situations. It was the door guy. Someone didn't show up. So like Tony, go up there and uh, clock in. We do a fifteen minute set. We're about nine minutes in. It's dead silence <laughs> for nine minutes. And this old lady. And I know she didn't do it on purpose because, like, she wasn't trying to be a dick about it. I think she was just hard of hearing. She looks at her table and she goes, I want to laugh, but he's just not funny. Oh, <laughs> and no. the whole crowd just turned against me and started laughing. And then that was, I was like, I still have five minutes left. Oh, yeah. Do they boo you? Did people actually boo? Or that they just... There was one guy who booed me. It was funny. I've never been, like, just boo booed. I think... You can see the I think boo you only, on their face. I think yeah, you right? only get, yeah, you can read a boo sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I you want you, to. Arms crossed. I think you only get booed if you do like a lot of edgy material. Sure. And I really don't do that. So I think when I'm bombing, it's more of a just like, oh, this is terrible. I feel bad. But they're not, yeah. yeah. They're not like Aww. angry. They're just like. People really get very empathetic, especially in like the South, especially like the, I noticed the DFW area. Like you can go to Houston and do. Uh, uh, like make fun of yourself and, and do that kind of stuff, self-deprecating humor. But here, I have jokes that I have written before jokes to try to break that empathy because I'm like, it's it hurts when you don't laugh. I was yeah, already yeah, trying to yeah. sharing this yeah. with strangers. When you're just like, oh, or like, oh, yeah, man, keep your chin up, buddy. It's like, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. why hang in there, champ. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I always make the thing. I just make if someone does all early on, I just say the statement. It, when you all you make it real. Yeah. Where it's like, I don't need your pity. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it, it just adds, it. okay, these are jokes. The comedian says it. And if you just do that, it's usually fine. But, no, this guy started just like, going, ah, ah, ah. he was just yelling. He was just, and I was just like, I was the MC, so you can't do crowd work. And I, but after the third one, ah, 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 he was just, Singing songs, doing Are you whatever. Doing a set on crank anchors. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, coming from you know the side of you know like a fan. I mean, I see this shit happening. You know, me and my table are like. The fuck is wrong with this guy? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I see the crowd, if someone does that, I'm like, appreciate that yeah, shit. Yeah. No. And we see, I see Idiot. them outside afterwards talking to comedians. I'm like, oh, here's this jackass. So, He's gonna come razz all the comedians. Fucking jagaloo. You know? yeah. The yeah. best, the best scenario on the flip side, because this guy, he just kept on like yelling, and I finally got him. But then his table started booing me. Cause they're like, fuck you, Bill. We're having fun, and then that's he, his posse. And yeah. then he threw a water bottle at <laughs> oh, me. Oh no! Oh no! What? But it, it was empty, and it, it literally <laughs> just it'll float back. Yeah, yeah. Piece literally, of paper. It literally just like hit a volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> it literally just hit me, and I just go, 
Dude, you assaulted me, but it's not worth it because it didn't fucking hurt. Mm-hmm. And then the door guy just took him out, dragged the dude out. Yeah. He didn't insult you, he was recycling. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, be kind. That's awesome when they stand up for you and it kind of does your job for you. You can be like, oh, all right, guys, you guys tired of them? You can kind of call yeah. them out. It's better if you can turn the crowd on that person instead of yourself. Yeah. I usually turn them yeah. on myself. But yeah, if you overreact, the crowd will turn on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you go too hard with it. Now, I used to yeah. when I was newer, but now I kind of like, I, I try to steer it more like, hey, dude, I'm at work right now. Yeah. Like, be yeah, quiet. I'll sell you some weed after the show. Just shut up. I've gotten really good at just giving a table a look in the middle of a joke. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I don't know what it is. But like, you I, got a solid look? Yeah, yeah. What's the look? I don't know. I don't see it. I, I don't know if I can do it not in the moment, you know, with the emotion. Hey, but hey, it is, I'm heckling you. Hey, man, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's, it's all you, smiles and fun, but it's a real direct eye contact that I, I saw, get people. Well, there's, you know, there's something about a guy in glasses that I, I personally will never underestimate a man in glasses because I am a man that wears glasses. I'm wearing contact lenses right I now. See. I, you know, uh, I, uh, I've, yeah. had, I've had people underestimate me. And yeah. Yeah. They, they had a bad day. <laughs> I saw a glimpse of that look because when you looked at me, I felt like my college professor was upset with me for, for not trying. Yeah. Like, for trying gonna, the wrong way. You're yeah. going to get in trouble. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. in trouble. It's a but real, like, I'm disappointed in you for doing it this. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I felt like, like, come like, on, guys, we're all out here together. Yeah. I felt like I was disappointing you by yeah. heckling you. I, so, I retract. Yeah. And the worst one where I felt like dealing with a heckler, I felt like, so it was a private gig. It was like for a, uh, a corporate, uh, corporate like end of the year party. Yeah, yeah. And it was at the comedy club. But the manager straight up told me he goes, "They're gonna ha- talk and heckle, but they bought the room, so we can't. We're not kicking them <coughs> out. It's their thing. You got hired to do their thing." Yeah. So before the stand up started, they did like an award ceremony, and at first they were being loud, but then you get into it and. Some people are listening, and it, it gets better and better. But there's this one girl, stage left. She's just yelling. And she lost the biggest flirt award <laughs> earlier in the night. And I just look at her, and I go, ma'am, I get it. You want, you lost the biggest whore in the office award. You worked all year sucking dicks, and you you wanted that trophy. Ooh. And I thought, right, and her yeah. boss is sitting Ooh. right front row. No, Shut her, up, Stephanie! Her, <laughs> no, but her boss is sitting right there. So I'm like, while well, I'm doing it, I'm like, I might not get paid for this, or I, he might tell Randy, the owner, I might get in trouble for calling one of his employees a whore. Literally, I, it, it starts getting laughs and everything, and then I just go, uh, look at the boss, and I go, uh, I'm sorry I called one of your employees a whore, and he goes, well, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and he la- everybody laughed, yeah. and then it was great from there on. And nice. You weren't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you have any more questions for them? Any more comedy questions you wanted to ask? Um, what are we looking like on time? We have, we have plenty of time. I mean, we're not even halfway yet. Okay, close so, to it. Yeah, I mean, mine's more of a fun question. It's uh, I don't know if you guys play video games. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, what, what, if you could be any video game character, who would you, Ooh, who would you I be? Love Ooh. that. I love that. Who would you be? Which one? While you guys are thinking, uh, my friend told me yesterday. Actually, he roasted me and said that. I look like the GTA character that ate all of Pac-Man's pellets. <laughs> <laughs> so my funny answer, one of them, is uh, Tony Romo, but in Madden. Because Tony Romo in real life has no Super Bowls, but Tony Romo in my Madden game has 12 in a row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so t- yeah. Tony Romo in Madden's yeah, my joke. In my Madden. Yeah. 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 He's a Hall of Fame. He's got the most touchdown. He became a wide receiver the third year. Ahead. First, no reason. Yeah. But he, he, he got like a, the path Tony yeah. Romo should have <laughs> No, yeah. he went yeah. to wide receiver <laughs> once his head... But then he went back to quarterback <laughs> once he was ready to it's go. It's like he gave him a Quentin Tarantino story arc. Right. Yeah, 12 in a row, and the third one has a wide receiver. Greatest he got, of all time. Yeah, he got the most receiving touchdowns. Wow. He just wanted to do it. Yeah. He, just, <laughs> he, he could. Yeah. It was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. I'd be like Nathan Drake from uh, Uncharted, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. cool. I just watched last night. I got super high, and I watched... Uh, uh, what is it? That Nick Cage movie, National Treasure. Yeah, yeah. Those movies are oh, amazing. they're amazing. They're great. Yeah. So many facts. I learned so much. <laughs> you're not real facts it. either. Yeah, you're I don't like, care if they're making them yeah, up. Yeah. I feel yeah. smart. Yeah, I know. It's so good. shit. U.S. I, history. I know it. <laughs> I think uh, I would want to be uh, Vice City. I'd like to be Ray Liotta's character. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was one of my favorite games. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've so, what was it? Uh, what was his name? Oh, fuck. What was his name? Michael Landry. 
was it? Uh, in the white Tom, suit. Tommy Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Yeah, That's yeah. it. I already need that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They make nice pizzas here. Yeah. I, <laughs> I already look like someone who would have a name Versetti with my pompadour. And yeah. so I, I think I just want to be Italian. It goes along well. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. My love for. Can uh, you change your creed or your 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 whatever? I don't know. I do eat a lot of marinara, so you could get like a a passport from there, maybe become a citizen. Become a citizen. Yeah. I don't think I'd have to do much. I think I just have to do my hair, not wear a hat. People are like, no, he's Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I change what a letter in my last name. <laughs> that was in a movie, I think. Even. That's Michelangelo's great great grandson. Don't you fucking know who <laughs> yeah. he is? Yeah. <laughs> but and this is not the funny answer. This is serious. Uh, oh, here we go. Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Why, dude? Those games were. Have you, they're amazing. No, I totally. Like You're a fucking. Yeah. You, yeah. you get mm-hmm. to build these guns. You get a race. That's true. You have a dumb superhero who thinks he's like better than you. Yeah. That you're doing all the work. It's like a fucking. I just and you have your buddy Clank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just taking over the universe together, man. Saving like, the universe. I'm curious to know what yours would be because Jason plays a lot of video games, everything from Skyrim to Tekken. To we we play yeah. a lot of games. We we'll get together and we'll play games all night. Oh, sometimes yeah. it's just Tekken. Sometimes it's Gears of War, Call of Duty. Who would you be? You hey. look. Or can I just say yeah, you look ahead. like the nerdy guy from the newest Grand Theft Auto? We got him robbed the bank. Oh, oh wow, uh, Lester. With, Lester. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I look like Lester. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's he's, he's like two feet taller than Lester. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that was a direct jab at yeah. yeah. But there's it nothing was. I can say back. But I also, you, already, you already said Drew Carey, lesbian, and everything. I also I look like your son, so Lester. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it, it, it could be. Daddy, on, yeah. on your behalf, Jason, I'll roast Tony for you. He looks like a talking potato with hot dog lips. <laughs> That's what Tony looks like. <laughs> with, with bowl of pudding turned over for hair. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's literally what he eats every night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I stand with my diet. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Steve from Texas. Steve from Steve, Tekken. Steve is great. Yeah, yeah, as you know, my favorite Tekken character to play with. And you know what? Him or Eddie Gordo. Either one. Eddie Gordo. Oh, if I could do that breakdance fight? Dude, that would be awesome. Absolutely. I used to breakdance before I was this fat. Yeah. Not very well, but I oh, did it. You put did you get out a bunch of pussy from it or no? I got no pussy from anything ever. You do capoeira, <laughs> and I guarantee you're going to get pussy. I mean, look at all that guy. If I do capoeira, I'm getting them capoeira. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I lived in Germany, I went to an inner city school. And uh, after uh, my mom put me in an after school program, I feel like you've been the, in a lot of movies from these stories so far. No, yeah, this yeah. is true. Like it was a cool. I like my mom put me in the inner city school because she, she wanted me to be around like uh, there were a lot of Turkish kids, a lot of kids from like Ghana, Uganda. Oh, sure. So she wanted me around that culture, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. And I got into an after school program, and uh, one of the classes I took was break dancing. And I actually, I think I wasn't great at it, but I got decent. I, I knew some moves. And then at the end of the year, me and my buddy Azim. Uh, we got to perform and we did Just Lose It by Eminem. Oh, nice. And in Germany, they don't censor the songs. They don't give a fuck. It's language. They say fuck, whatever. Well, yeah. So we're doing... Because they say I'm something in, else I'm in, in, fucking Yeah, I'm in yeah. first grade. I'm in first grade dancing to Eminem's Just Lose It uncensored. My mom got me a tracksuit. Ozm's in the tracksuit. And we're killing it. And the last move, I couldn't do the spin. So I lay down and Ozm just spin me. Like he grabbed my leg and spin me. <laughs> and I'm looking out. Everybody's laughing. They're having a good time, you know? And my dad's just in the corner just going, they ain't doing this crap. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't doing this hip-hop shit. No. Yeah. This is a new thing. Yeah. We're going to dip this in the butt. This, yeah. we're gonna get this, this is so the... Yeah, this yeah. is This looks like a path to a film degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not Tony. paying for this shit for college. Yeah. Tony has a film degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was funny. And I would show him, because I got into rap around then, I would show him like on my MP3 player. I would put like, hey, 50 Cent. And my dad would like listen to 10, 20 seconds of it. Hey, let's go crazy. trash. And he would just throw <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the headphone like, trash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, it's yeah. good music. I have a really country uncle who loves tech nine. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, dude, I it's like, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, grew up, I grew up in a small town. I grew up in Waxahachie, and all the countryest dudes with the lifted trucks and yeah. the camo paint jobs and camo Carhartt jacket, yeah. they yeah. pull up next to you, and they got a system in their truck bumping Snoop Dogg yeah. and Dr. Dre. Every time. Well, that was, that's how old I am, but yeah, now I'm yeah, sure yeah. it's Little Yachty and Broccoli, whatever. I don't know. Broccoli? Yeah, yeah. Uh, broccoli. Broccolitas? I don't know. Yeah. Either. I, don't, I know some of their names. Broccolitas? That's a good name. Everyone in my high school had a system. Yeah. I li- I had a Mustang and I just had a box with two twelves in it that took up the back seat. <laughs> it was put in so nice. shittily. 
Dude, yeah, I had a low the, rider with a 15 in the trunk and nice. had the switches and all. Actually, we had to move the 15 to the, to the seat because if you have hy- hydraulics, it takes up most of the trunk. Right. Because you got to put extra you car batteries in there. Dude, I was hitting switches on bitches. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. I'd get pulled over literally three times a day. I'd get pulled over. And that's if I drove my car three times. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes twice. <laughs> Are you not allowed to have that? or They just, you look suspect. They'd pull me over and say things like, Oh, your lights looked a little bright. Flash your brights. Oh, no, they're normal. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah. All the time, I'd get pulled over. I had the, the Roadsters, the spoke wheels on it. Oh, nice. I didn't like Dayton's. I was, I don't know, I wanted yeah. to be different. But, yeah, I had one of those. But I had a system. Uh, everybody. When I, yeah. Even this is like in the 90s, like 98, 99, everybody I knew had, they basically had a system. Yeah. When I bought my first car. Uh, first thing I did was exchange all the speakers for like better speakers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still do my stock speakers. I'll still like I just got a new car and I'm gonna take out the stock speakers and right. replace them with like three ways. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I'm a music. I love music. Right. And in the car, listen to music. I want to enjoy it. I hate when you have like like I do road trips sometimes with my friend and like we just drove to Kentucky and all his speakers but one are busted in his what? car. It's and like it's torture to, for like listening to, hours. That's like listening to dubstep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. oh <laughs> so bad. I tried to get new speakers on my first car that I bought, and I, I, I ordered them, and they were coming in, and I was like, Dad, we can put in the speakers, and he goes, "You should be focusing on the road, not the music." <laughs> ah, yeah, I killed it. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had a minivan with a system in it. Fuck yeah, guys. I remember Fuck just yeah. I even took out the middle seat, so it just seemed like a limo. <clears throat> right. You know? Yeah. It was yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. come on in, parlay. That's you know? right. <laughs> parlay. Yeah. That's right. Jason's oh, okay. van was the shit. We used to ride around in it. And uh, with the with the Maximum speakers busting, comfort. yeah, and yeah, I mean you can lay down and do yoga back there if you want. Right. I'm not flexible, <laughs> but we used to. Do you remember there used to be this guy we found him on Craigslist, and uh, he would he would pay us to put out those signs that say like we buy houses. You yeah. guys see those? You yeah. pull to a light. Yeah. And sometimes he'd have us write stuff on the signs because he just didn't have them printed. We drive around that van and smoke a joint, <laughs> blast the music, bumping. just bumping. <laughs> and he <laughs> won. We were po- we were helping gentrify the area, I guess, because he had us like off thirty in East Dallas. Yeah, Dolphin. Like, yeah, off Dolphin and uh, what's other on the gym? There was a road down there called Gay. Yeah, there was, a, it, yeah. but it was in the hood. Like people yeah. would get off their porch when we pull over, and they'd be like, "What you want?" And I'm like. Just don't sign and leave. Yeah. Sometimes we just throw them all. <laughs> yeah. we, he would pay us like a dollar a sign or something, so we'd take like hundreds of them, and then we'd just throw them in a Wendy's dumpster sometimes. Yeah, yeah every now and then. We put out like, like 30. You know fuck this. We did the last few weekends in a row. The old signs are still up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it was an African dude, and he'd be like, I'm going to drive around and check. And I was like, oh, okay. But okay. in my mind, I was like, if you're going to drive around, you just put out the signs yourself, yeah, cheap right, ass. Yeah, yeah. Fucking drive around yeah. and check. Yeah. yeah. And he gave the check up front with the signs also. Oh, so that was the bonus part. That was cash know. before yeah, we did yeah. any work. <laughs> yeah, that was like one of the first lessons my mom taught me was like, never pay for anything until the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're going to do half and half, I understand that, you know, make a deal. But, yeah, yeah. you know, definitely not full before yeah. delivery. Leave yourself yeah. open. And your mom sounds like a gangster. Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> she knows what's up. She's yeah. probably a hardball negotiator. She is. Like, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You guys have like nice new windows and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I knew that. She did. gets you yeah. over and gets half the work done. And she finds something. She's like, "This is scratch. We're gonna have to take ten percent off." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, she Shit. bought a three story house with the price of a Honda Civic. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> she traded her way up. Man. That's how she did it. Yeah. She's a tough negotiation. Started with a paper yeah. cut. Yeah. <laughs> Ended with a three story house. Oh man. So, you guys want to move on to the open mic part of the podcast? Sure. Are you guys ready? Okay. So, on this part of the podcast, it is the open mic. Uh, I'm going to give them some topics, and they can, they're going to have a topic for me. And uh, we got to try to riff jokes. Nothing used from our normal sets or material. Um, and we'll go from there. So, who wants to go first? You guys want to give me a topic? Do y'all want to, who wants their topic? Not it. Uh, <laughs> you want to go? I thought uh, maybe like funny carrot. It's like being a grocery store worker at this time because being a grocery store worker sucks now Mm -hmm. but you still have to come into work while the world is ending like you worked at Walmart during the end of the world (laughs) (laughs) you have to to deal with Corona and Karen (laughs) that's not the proper shade of blue (laughs) and you get this (laughs) spectrum of blue I bet you the tech people are loving their job right now you know the keys to get the video games no one's asked for the keys in weeks (laughs) (laughs) they're all in grocery (laughs) it's slow over here we're good 
All right. Nice. I didn't give him that topic, so I'm still going to make him do another one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a few to choose from here. Let me see. Um, uh, all right. I got one for you, Tony. Have you ever found, I, I know your dad's military, and you guys can confirm. You guys don't know what's coming, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, have you ever found your dad's gun, or like anyone in your family, like found a gun in your house? Do you yeah. have any stories about that? Or, I've, or any, I've, you know, so, on that? I've never personally like found one of my dad's guns because he's very secure. I, I was raised with, if you see a gun, come get someone. Very military in that. But he, Rhymes, I, too. I, the, the reason yeah. uh, he put that in place, one of my cousins, when he was a teenager, his dad came back from the war. And he had a live grenade for some reason. <laughs> like, he just had a live grenade. Oh, oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. He was probably 18, 19 at the time. And he's got a live grenade? No, no, the dad did. He was in his oh. 30s. My cousin, like, he was in his 40s. And my cousin's like 18, 19. And he found it. And he's just playing with it. And he pulls the pen. The dad walks in. And he goes, throw it. And he <laughs> threw it in the closet. And then it, boom, blew up. And what? it took out, like, two of his fingers. Blew so up the closet? It blew up the, yeah, the room and his face. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so my after that, our family was really locked down on weapons. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> we were just I like, would say so. After <laughs> the grenade incident. <laughs> yeah. It makes for an interesting Thanksgiving conversation. But, I yeah. had a friend get peppered in the face with a shotgun, but not a fucking <laughs> grenade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you might want to hear that, too, but uh, good thing to know your cousin wasn't in the closet. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah right. I couldn't help. I couldn't yeah. help. No, but it was, it's, yeah, it's weird. I, I remember, like, now my dad will just have guns out and go visit him. There would just be a gun in his bed. I was like, why do you have a gun just laying out in your bed? He goes, just in case. Right. I was like, it's two in the afternoon. We live in Shirts, <laughs> Texas, in case of what? Are That's when they come, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. they're looking for. You can't get to the gun if it's yeah, put up. I was going to Chicago, and we're going like we were staying in the nice part. We're in Wrigley Field. My dad goes, uh, "You want one of my handguns?" And I was like, "I got a car with four comedians. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a gun." I, Mikey would wake up and go, "Boo!" I'm like, "Mikey, put the gun down." <laughs> I don't Jason's mean, from Chicago, and yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is Chicago, as Jason knows, and, um, and I've noticed any part of Chicago, you should probably have a gun. But, you you yeah. know, don't let Wrigleyville fool you. Yeah, yeah. gangster. No, but my yeah. thing Just is... Just a block away, the other way past... Yeah. Jason, my yeah. thing is, I'm already going to get robbed if I get robbed in Chicago. Well, yeah. yeah. But now I have a gun on me? Jason's like, I used to rob people like you. They're they're gonna, gonna, you're not leaving Chicago for Yeah, while. exactly. Yeah, that's what... Yeah. You're exactly. Gonna get, you're going to get stuck or, in the system. No, the worst thing is, <laughs> they'll steal my gun. Yeah. There's a and problem. now, there's a man out there shooting innocent people with my gun! You provided that tool for <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. He's, got an extra, he's got extra bullets now. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, I... I, I, I I commend you now for saying yeah. no. You know, he double robbed uh, me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't bring one either because I'm dumb. A cop pulls me over. A cop pulls me over and he goes, "Get out of the car." I go, "Why?" You have a warrant for homicide, six people, and I was like, "Well, I gotta smoke. Stop smoking weed, I guess." Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. killing people yeah. at night. Yeah. 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 Smoke. Yeah. Something. Uh, like a uh, real industrious <laughs> about murder every time I smoke. <laughs> so before we move on, shotgun to the face story. Yeah. You gotta tell us. My friend shot his dad. He in shot the, his dad? In the face with a shotgun. It was an accident. Did it kill? Did it Was it a no. finger quotes accident? Yeah, yeah. Or, I don't know. They were like, Or I'm tired of being grounded, dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mendez brother. He was like a little, like, he was like a skater kid. Uh -huh. And like his dad was like super country, like, I guess trying to break out this Jean skater. Jinko skater kid or tight pants tight skater pants kid? Skater tight kid. pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't trust him either no. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And right. so I guess he, his dad was like, hey, and he just turns around and just catches him. Like just like two or three into the face. Just two. Does yeah. he have like cool looking scars? Like tell not you? really. Yeah. See if I had three scars like that, I'd be like, and yeah. They look I like acne scars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fought cuts. a tiger. Just yeah. Trying to get my dog. You should see what the tiger looks like. Yeah. 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 It's and pretty cool. <laughs> Stripes. Oh, the like quarterback my freshman year shot his little brother with a twenty-two through the leg on accident. Whoa. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, yeah. You know, being from Chicago, I wasn't there. <laughs> being from Chicago, everyone that I went to high school with got shot in the leg with a twenty-two. Right? So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you punch into the school. That's yeah. how you make you clock in. Yeah, blood in, blood out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what happens when you go to Wolfie's for a pizza puff. Yeah, get a Polish, you bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That, we're not getting paid for that. Yeah, I know. It's Wolfies, if you do want to sponsor us, you can pay us in Polish and Puffs. Yeah, yeah. Puffs. yeah. very important. Puffs. Yeah, we need the Puffs. <laughs> we need those Puffs. Okay. Um, okay, so do you want to go? You want you want to give me a topic? Uh, yeah. or whatever, okay, you whatever. Want, all right. 
Let's see. Um, just because I, I, I like like how clean cut you are, Parker. Yeah. That's <laughs> a really dirty one. Where, if you want to talk about riff jokes or if you have a story, where this place you've come? Where this place I've come? Yeah. Like, mm. or what, what if he's not a kiss and tell type of guy? Well, then I can pick another subject, I don't have to but tell. I mean, it's all like pretty, like bathrooms or beds yeah. or you know, not very. I'm not a not very weird places. Sonic Boy bathroom. Scout camp. Sonic uh, bathroom. Boy Scout camp. <laughs> nice. No, no, yeah. no, that's as an adult or as a child. Yeah, yeah. Both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Driving. I've done that one. I've done it driving too. It's tough. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do it's not. I, I did not one like drive. It. I got one drive. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. I don't like yeah. it. I don't like my. Yeah. 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 I got. I got a question. Hands dirty, and you're just like. Ah. I had leather seats at the time. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a question because that, mine's mine's so stupid about that. But uh, when you guys when you came in the car, like you're driving, did you did you guys actually take your dick out or did you like oh, through, the through the zipper? Pants? Through, through, the zipper. through the zipper. Full. I tried through the zipper and I scraped it, so I put it back in and like through my pants, like I was cocking a shotgun right. over and yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I literally came right as a work convoy was coming up, and I was like, Amazing. "Thank God." <laughs> I was because yeah. um, I was like just in it and it's just dark. I'm driving back from San Antonio to Dallas and there's that that path right. That's after. why he goes there so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's right in between like uh, right before you hit wake up and it's just dark. So I was just like, fuck it. And I'm just there. Bu- 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 da- da. And then I and then right there it just slowed down. I was like, they found me. They know this was happening. I thought I was going to yeah. get pulled over. I've come in my hand and be like, the evidence is all over. <laughs> yeah. You know? Have you, have you guys ever done the thing where you pull out of a girl and then you come in your hand and they're like, what, what, now what? Yeah. <laughs> have you, ever, you guys ever faced that? Yeah. I don't know. That was just I've weird done, to me. I've done the Simba once. The Simba? Yeah, you come in your hand and then she, you go, Simba. Have you? Have you? on her face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She was a good bit. <laughs> she did. The symbol, or otherwise known as the Ass Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's funny. Uh, okay, you guys have a topic for me. You want me to try to fail with, mm. or what, what, do you, what do you guys want to throw? I'm just looking at things in your room. <laughs> do a bit about shoes. <laughs> He's talking about all these different colored towels. I should yeah. have a set of towels. I just have all these random ones I've found. Right. Yeah. Or a blue one, a brown one. One I stare at when I take acid and it change, changes shapes. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. You knew which one. Yeah, 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 You've yeah. done psychedelics. Yeah. yeah. Right to it. I literally, you know when you get the acid poops and then you sit there for a minute right. and you're sweating for no reason. Yeah. But it just feels so good. And, and I'll, that towel's usually hanging up. It's like probably when I use the most. And I've literally just st- stared at it for like forty five minutes, right. and watched like the shapes like grow and shrink. Yeah. And, the bathroom's yeah. a trap, though. Yeah, it is a trap. This you can get trapped in there. Yeah, this is an interesting setup because your sink is outside of the bathroom. It's right? it's yeah, yeah yeah it's weird. I like it though because my to- my toothbrush doesn't sit in the yeah, particles. That's so smart. Yeah. In the gas chamber, I got if one you will. of those like off, off clips or something. Yeah, yeah the yeah, clip yeah. you put on it. Um, you guys got a topic for me, or what do you guys move on to the next one? Yeah, let's move on. You can move on to something else. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, go ahead. I feel like you should try it, right? Yeah. I'll, if yeah. You yeah. Get, if get a topic. I think we can come up with a topic. Yeah. I'm sure, you can come up with one. I got one for you. Yeah. Okay. I think you can think of something funny. Sure. How about this keto diet? This keto diet? Yeah. I, I actually just like eating the stuff you eat on keto because I my favorite food is meat. Like right. it's not a specific one. I like. No. I mean, before you guys got here, I, I just got a pack of sausages and just put them in the oven and just ate wolf down four jalapeno cheese sausages nice. real quick. Nice. No bread or anything, just full yeah. on grease. Because that's the thing with keto, right? You're supposed to eat fatty stuff, that's and then your fat, fat eats the fat. Yeah, fat. Basically, fat, you know, you're so, good. Good but, fat, uh, bad fat eats good fat. You know. I mean, meat and cheese; those are my two favorite things, right there. All right. Mean, uh, for breakfast today, and I, we just there wasn't much at the grocery store. I'm not trying to do keto, but for breakfast, I just had like eight strips of bacon, and that's all I had. Yeah, keto is easy to do if you're like running a little light, you know, yeah. for funds. I mean, it's like, yeah. oh, I'll just get the ba- I'll just have some bacon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just the basics. Just drink some mayonnaise, you know, yeah. a set of mayonnaise for lunch, you know. A set of mayonnaise for lunch. <laughs> See, this is the thing. I knew no matter what we did, Jason would work a way to try to get me to do the keto diet. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. waited yeah. 40 yeah. minutes into a podcast. Yeah. I got a topic for you. Yeah. Yeah. Where we are. We've arrived. I know you've heard of this. <laughs> Honestly, I might do keto. It's the end of the world, you know. Shit's running out, so why not just get bacon and bacon and beef? Bacon, yeah. eggs, beef, cheese. Eggs I, mean, yeah. I, I like meat. And the thing is, like, 
you can still feel stuffed on meat, and I've had the meat sweats from eating too much, but <laughs> I, you got to balance it out, like you said. Uh, I mean, a shot of mayonnaise, but also, so with that, I mean, you have to have carbs, but in you the keto, you from, vegetables. from like vegetables, you right? Get that, you can eat vegetables, yeah. right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Certain vegetables. Right. Green right. vegetables. Yeah. Anything green. See, greens. Can, you, can you eat fruits or no? No fruit. No fruit. Okay. Blueberries, you know, maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah. Blueberries taste like shit to me personally. So. Yeah, I'm not a big that. blueberry. I like blueberry flavored things, but actual blueberries, as soon as I. Yeah, I you always... like the artificial sugar. <laughs> yeah, the, the fake yeah, blueberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the fake blueberry <laughs> oh, flavor. Dude. Real blueberry? No. Fuck I feel that. like every blueberry I've ever put in my mouth and chewed up was always old, not ripe, or just right. not one I should be. They don't feel right, right? Yeah, they yeah. feel like they're weirdly soft mushy. Or and, something, yeah. They're like yeah. grapes, but they're tart. And sometimes yeah. they're not. And the like outside is chalky looking. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't, it always like looks like you'll wash yeah, it over and over. Yeah. Where did these come from? Where did you find these? Where did you find these? What, where they come on a bush? <laughs> 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 it's a berry. Yeah. Yeah. Is it racist to call a blueberry ashy? Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> come on! If it's ashy, it's ashy. Yeah. Yeah. I was in like uh, <laughs> sixth grade and uh, I was went to school uh, like right outside, like maybe. 45 minutes outside of Memphis or something like that. And, uh... Damn, Memphis. Yeah, 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 you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Three Six Mafia. Gang up. Uh, and, uh, these kids turn around and they're like, can white people be ashy? <laughs> and apparently the answer is yes. So yeah. I have ashy ass legs. I think yeah. it's funny when white people are ashy. A lot of times they just diagnose them with uh, psoriasis. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're ashy, <laughs> you need medicine. Yeah, this is a medical, <laughs> that's a medical condition. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Yeah. But Sharon is. Watch your head. Get in the car. <laughs> you know, if you, you know, if, if you like, you know, a typical I think American white person like me. I mean, I was raised and I was really not raised to put a bunch of lotion. On. Never. Yeah, it wasn't a thing. You yeah, know, if if my mom did it when I was like a little yeah. toddler after a bath or whatever, great. But I yeah. did not carry on the tradition. Right, and you know I didn't know until I uh, back of my heels they get they get, they get a little right. Yeah. yeah, you're that rough. That's a rough they get a little. Little, little, little elephant shit have, thing happening. Yeah, there. yeah. See, <laughs> but see, my wife introduced me to you know, hey, lotion it up, get the get the bad spots. Yeah, I started getting jabbed when yeah. you're next to her. Yeah, it cuts you. Open. Yeah, yeah. Right. driving in the car. It's fucking oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. See, I have one ashy elbow and one re- one smooth elbow, mm. so I got both worlds. One elbow is, and I n- I never put lotion on. I just don't think about it. But I got it's just weird. Everything in my life contradicts itself. I you know was I was stubborn growing up, and anytime my dad's like, put put on sunscreen, I'd be like, I don't need it, and he's like, okay, and we went to the beach one day, and, no, not the beach, the lake, in New Braunfels area, Oh yeah. and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, burning up, and I wake up from my nap, and I'm red, Mm. from like head to toe, I'm just like, like, I'm just like, and my dad's just like, how was that nap? And I was just like, "Ah!" Uh, (laughs) so like, my stepmom took me home, and all that, and I'm just sitting there, and my dad comes back, I still have my sunglasses on inside, and I'm just like, burning, uh, and he's like, just get get some sleep, he woke me up at 9 o'clock, tax of summer, where the heat's already beating on you, and he goes, time to cut the grass, and I was like, dad, I'm still hurting, and he goes, you're gonna put on sunscreen next time, aren't you, and I had to be out there, just like, burning, even when like sweat hit my skin, it would just burn and run down. It was terrible. Man. I hate that. You're like, Dad, I got skin cancer from that. He's like, but you learned now to put it yeah. on. Yeah, and then that day, that day, my buddy gave me some uh, chewing <laughs> tobacco. He gave me some chew. It was a bad day. He gave me chewing tobacco. So when my dad wasn't looking, I just put some in. And uh, I was working, and I just take a big swallow, and I swallowed all of it. Oh. And I just, so I just, I'm, I just standing, yeah. so I'm just standing there, and I'm just like, bah! Bah! and he's just like, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know. It could be the sunburn. And he goes, yeah, just drink some water and finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad was like, bullshit. Yeah. I mean, imagine... you, want, you want to take a break? Okay, just go ahead and finish up, and then you can go ahead and take yeah. a break. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you get burned a lot, because you look like, so for those of you that can't see Tony right now or don't know what he looks like, you have like really white skin. You look like you have a sunburn now, and it's been right. raining for three weeks. Yeah, you're too close yeah. to the lamp. Very, yeah. I get, I get red. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Gerald type. <laughs> <blood. laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Uh, all right. So uh, we'll move on to the next part of the podcast. For the last uh, part of it, whatever time we have left, we spend it talking about crimes, making fun of them. And our goal isn't to to just be harsh to the victims or anything. But it's a comedy podcast. We're just having some fun. So we're gonna riff on some of your stories oh, yeah. and. You know, if you don't do put yourself in a dumb situation, and we, well, it's harder for us to make you look dumb. Uh, but either way, we're, Jason has some stories. I love how you think stories. all the criminals 
are listening to this podcast and they're getting mad. They're like, how dare <laughs> they? This <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> talking let's, about it. Let's go for like any, any like victims if we're doing like a murder story because we're yeah. going to have all kinds of, it's not, it's not specific to I want the crime. open mic podcast to become the number one prison podcast. Oh, <laughs> like, son of a bitch. <laughs> as long as they stay in there, keep listening. Yeah. They hear my voices, they're getting stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> they just play it. On play the, anything on else. Speakers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right, so did you guys actually hear about, uh, it was a big thing last year, it was uh, uh, the inflatable object, Humper. Mm-mm. You haven't heard about this. Humper. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's in Ohio. First off, Ohio. Where yeah. most of the weird things come from. Uh, yeah, so they were first arrested. Okay, so this is like an ongoing thing. This person was arrested uh, for having sex with an inflatable pumpkin mm-hmm. that was a part of a display. Right. Um, you know, years later was again convicted for public indecency for but, another uh, crime. Uh, hold on, let me stop you there. Who walks by a pumpkin and they're like, God damn. Well, you know what I mean? Especially an inflatable. I get a real pumpkin because they're pretty hot. But uh, Easier to clean inflatable, yeah, though, yeah, I guess. Yeah. True. Yeah. Reusable. Yeah, yeah. Re- reuse, yeah. recycle. Yeah. So, I mean, so the thing is that this person did this. This person was known in his neighborhood for taking people's, like, uh, pool rafts and then returning them. And they were, like, all just, like, gross. Just you know, keep like, it, nasty. pal. Um, so it, it, it came down to where the neighbor called the police and said, hey, uh, you know, my neighbor took the, took the pool of raft, and for some reason, he's, you know, he's keeping it. I want I want my raft back. No, you don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, and, thanks. And so there, there was a report done on that. You know, nothing happened from it. And then ultimately on, on, uh, uh, on this date here, the temptation became too much. This person again <laughs> stole the exact same pink raft. <laughs> The oh. same one that he had took previously, and that they had called the police over. Couldn't get enough. He took this police raft and he, and, to me, baby. and he was and he was making sweet love to it. That's what he was doing. He was he was going at it, and he didn't care who was looking. This time, he did it in the middle of the day. There was children, people, all kinds of. Stuff. He was arrested, pled guilty. He got eleven months in prison. He apologized in court. Said he's ready to turn his life around. <laughs> um, funny part of the story is it's actually not even known if the neighbors still kept that raft because they really seemed attached to it in the first place. You know, like first off, you went to prison for almost a whole goddamn year when you could have bought a four ninety nine raft at the <laughs> dollar store. <laughs> you could have got, got your own. own. Yeah. You yeah, can buy multiple, think, take twenty dollars and get you a whole whorehouse. Yeah. But that's the <laughs> get the whole whorehouse. I think there's a bit, maybe a more sinister undertone. Yeah, yeah. who was riding that raft all the time? Oh, you think he's sniffing it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's sniffing the raft. raft. Yeah. I love Mikey's uh, mindset. Yeah. He goes, "Yeah, it's kind of weird. He's fucking raft, but I don't think he would be sniffing the scent. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting." <laughs> I just try to put my mind in the place of a perv. So yeah. I just well, here's the funny thing, though. Okay, so does that mean that the how the first one, when the first incident happened, was the Halloween one? Maybe the same family as one too. I mean, right? You know, it's just that mm. was another one known in the neighborhood. So maybe he just got off on doing it on someone else's property and then giving it back to him. And maybe he really got off on like, yeah, you use that dirty raft. Right. I think so too. Yeah. Maybe. I think so too. You yeah. Sick fuck. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. There's no dirty stinking hell all of a city. <laughs> We're gonna clean it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's yeah. I mean, you could have spent like forty dollars in avoiding right, prison yeah, and yeah. ruining your life. Not even forty dollars, five below, man. Go to yeah, the five below. Well, yeah, yeah, you get eight but, of them. You get a whole brothel. But that's what it was. <laughs> I, I think that's what it was. Like, it was just seems like I want to just pass it back to these people and just yeah. you play with my dirty fuck toy. <laughs> yeah, just maybe jerk off in hotel rooms, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, maybe his uh, his kink is that. He he gets off on using stealing like the thri- the yeah. thrill of stealing something, and that's just the easiest laziest thing to steal is a pool raft. You're not always watching your pool, like hope no, hope no one takes my flamingo. Yeah. If my pool raft went missing, I assume it blew away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the homeowner is just like comes out smoking a cigarette. That flamingo's getting fucked again. <laughs> I'll get to the bottom of this shit. Yeah, it'll, it'll turn back up, Krusty. If this guy's out of prison, he should come over and clean my garage out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got like eight of those things. I don't know what to do with them. All right, so I've got another story here. So uh, a Brazilian woman, uh, she's accused of attempted murder um, with a highly unusual weapon. Uh, apparently she had put some unspecified type of poison oh. in and around her genitals. Before luring her partner into the bed and asking him to perform cunnilingus. Oh, hold on one second. You say she got some poison pussy? She put some poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poison. Right, oh, that pussy. That pussy. Oh, poison. I thought all pussy was poison. It's poison. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. I love you. Never trust a big guy. <laughs> he's, right? yeah. he's lying in the hospital bed. The detective comes in and goes, 
what do you think happened? And he goes, that boys and boys. Batman oh, shows up, was it boys and Ivy? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of pussy. So, uh, so did he die? He, well, you said attempted murder, so he's well, alive. Well, right? hold on a second. I'm a detective. So, all right, so the husband was allegedly up for the task, as any anybody would be. Uh-huh. Not normally a husband. Well, well, not normally yeah, a husband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> boyfriend. Maybe. But anyway, so he was up for the task until he noticed an unusual scent. Yeah. Different from the normal scent yeah. emitting from his partner's vagina. In an ironic twist, the husband ended up taking his wife to the hospital, presumably because she started showing some signs of <coughs> poisoning. <laughs> uh, where she confessed her crimes to doctors and man- they managed to save her life. But reports claim that she had inserted enough poison inside of her to kill two people. And uh, the charges against the wife have not yet been filed. They're, of course, still pending. But uh, it's probably a safe bet that they will appear, you know, to be a, a, a serious file or charge going on. Yeah. yeah. Worst Romeo and Juliet porn parody ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess she was planning on going out with him. Like, was that the goal? I, it's a good yeah. thing she didn't have an orgy. She'd be in jail forever. Okay. <laughs> how, could, how could you not think that that wouldn't do something to you, too? I mean, I'm not... Yeah, gonna, well, if you're literally trying to kill someone uh, via poison pussy, I don't think, I don't think you're bright <laughs> no. enough yeah, to yeah, be yeah. like, oh, this that's, is... Not, that's a murder-suicide. Yeah. yeah. That's not a criminal. I wonder, yeah. if, I wonder if he was a Nick Cage fan. He's like, I could eat a peach for hours. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Not that one. Yeah. That's love, though, right there. That guy knows the smell of his wife's pussy. Right? Yeah, is. He's like, hey, is this new Coke? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this new recipe. Yeah, yeah. He's like, are you okay? And she's laying in bed just sweating, pale. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Have you changed your diet? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That, that's, yeah. it, that's it for that. I, uh, you know, I, well, nice I got pickings there. We only got a couple minutes left, anyways. But there's the one story outside we were talking about. I want to bring okay. this up. Can, do you still have that where you can get to it? Pull it up. The yeah. Well, yeah. here I, I remember it. I'll, I'll just tell. I'll okay. start real quick. It's um, there was a guy arrested for uh, stealing. Uh, you know the numbers better. You do it. I got it. Right just... Okay. So. Uh... A 53-foot trailer containing $100,000 of ramen noodles was stolen in Georgia. Fuck yeah. 100000 right Are you sure that's not 100000 <laughs> trucks full of ramen noodles equaling $100,000? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how, how much how much ramen was that? Jeez. It's 100000 $100, boxes of ramen. Well, for a dollar each. Well, right. well, the victim reported <laughs> theft of police saying that he left his tractor trailer with about $98,000 of ramen noodles. Uh, in this parking lot, which he was allowed to be at. When he came back, it was gone, noodles and all. Um, <laughs> the brand of noodles was not specified, so we don't know for sure, you know, if it was the Dude, one, if $1 you're living in a trailer, the cent If you're living in a trailer and call the cops and be like, my noodles are gone, it's the $1 pack. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm we sure. know who took that. Yeah. Yeah. We so, got one guy in town that's up. He's fucking the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so it says here that, you know, the ramen noodles can retail for anywhere from 29 cents to a dollar, you know, just depending. Jesus. Uh, at this price point, thieves could have stolen more than 300,000 packages. Good. Uh, and, you know, some ramen brands obviously cost more than others, so they could have made some street value on that. And yeah, they're marking that up because that's actually only about four how do you re- how do you resell the noodles? On the street, I mean, five bucks. Like yeah, you, you got my five minimum G. You got your, <laughs> you got your little street level guys. You're like, all right, check it out. I'm going to give you like ten packs of ramen right here. You're going to bring uh, five dollars back, and then whatever you keep over that, that's yours. Okay, and then you just, just run that ramen hustle. Don't know? go cutting that shit with sheetrock. No, no, no. <laughs> People cutting up the ramen noodles. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's I already. Got, it's I already, got that Campbell's. You want that good shit? I got you. It's, it's already warmed up, but I yeah, want it. Yeah. I don't want it warmed already. It's already warmed up for you. It's like no, I want it. I want to make it myself. I've got all packets, baby. Flavor packets on flavor. Oh, those packets. are those additional. You want uh, extra packets? Uh, I got yeah, extra yeah, packets. Yeah, yeah. He pulls out his jacket. They're just hanging there. Oh, you want the spicy seafood joints, bro? Oh, you gonna mix the chicken with the beef, bro? You crazy. That's crazy Eddie right there. It's a hybrid. I got, some, I got some of the oil and sauce teriyaki liquid packs oh, right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That dude's about they to get robbed. They look like real shrimps in this bitch. I know it's not real, but they look real. I just throw a jalapeno in that bitch. It's just as good. Yeah. I'd like to see the first uh, first one OD on that. It's just like four packs poured into one. That's too much sodium. Yeah. The flavor. <laughs> the flavor. The flavor kingdom. Yeah. Man, that's funny. od on MSG. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That sounds like a gang member. O- yeah. OG MSG. Yeah, OG MSG. Wow. <laughs> Cooking up the beats. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, that was a good episode. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for having us on. Guys, yeah. thank you guys for coming. Um, you can find me at Mikey B the Comic. Uh, there will be a 
open mic podcast instagram page and all social media coming soon uh you can look there find us follow like subscribe comment please on the that that purple podcasting app and the itunes just go on there the itunes like my grandma uses yeah. Actually, she's dead. Me and Parker just got yeah. the funniest comment or review today. Oh, yeah? They go, great, le- listen, I think Tony and Parker is her brothers. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. <laughs> he just put it out. Yeah. I think Tony and Parker are brothers. He loves you. He's, he's going around <laughs> telling his grandkids about you. Yeah. yeah. Man, the Tony and the Parker show was really good today. <laughs> yeah. Man, yo, you can catch these guys also. These guys are very funny. Uh, you can also catch them at the Before and After Podcast, anywhere you find podcasting. Uh, are you guys on YouTube also? Or we're you guys we're going yet? to we're starting. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get okay. there soon. And uh, you guys, where can we find you guys on social media? At Comedian Tony Casillas on Instagram and at Comedian Tony C on Twitter. Parker Comedy on Instagram. Parker Comedy on Instagram. Thank you guys a lot for coming. Thank you guys for listening. And we will see you next time. Did you shout out on our theme song here. Oh, yeah. Also, thank you. I keep forgetting about Daniel that. Magden. Daniel Magden. Oh, Danny Mag's that, out there in uh, Hollywood. My little ginger boy. <laughs> No, Daniel made the beat that you're hearing at the beginning and end of our show. It's the uh, same beat, but he made the beat. It's really great. Gave it to me. Uh, I'm just putting this here to timestamp it so you can't sue me in court for it later, bitch. <laughs> 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 I'm just playing. No, thank you so much, Daniel. You guys, check him out on Instagram. Just search Daniel Magden, just like it sounds. Uh, you can find him. He'll sell you a beat. He'll tell you a joke. He's a really great guy. Uh, do you have anything else, Jason, before we get out of here? Good to go. Anybody? Can we find you? Anywhere yeah, we, yeah, we did this. Comedy on Instagram. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah we did his. Sure All right. Thank you, guys. Please listen and come back. We'll have a new episode next week for you.